Hello! I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. This is a game called Bad North. It is created by the indie studio Raw Fury, the same group that made Kingdom New Lands, which I played on my channel a while back. Kingdom is one of my favorite indie games of all time. It's a side-scrolling, pixelated, tower defense game, and Bad North is similar. Uh, it's also a tower defense game, but it is isometric, so it's 3D isometric graphics. So I had to get this because I absolutely love Kingdom, and this is by the same people, and it's very similar. So let's get into it. New game. Difficulty, yeah, I'm going to start on normal. Skip tutorial, no. Go through the tutorial so you all can see what it's like. So basically, as far as I know, okay, rotate the camera with R. You have a tiny little island and you have to um, protect your island from Vikings, Vikings that attack. Oh, so I have two different squads here. Cool. So it's a real-time strategy game. Um, and move the marker. Cool. So you can select different sections. X, command your squad to move. So I'm on this, these guys. Move them there. Defend your houses. Okay. So I'll put them up here. To defend that house. Uh-oh, here they come. Here comes the Vikings, or whatever they are. They, they look kind of ghoulish, much like the enemies in Kingdom. Um, <clears throat> in Kingdom, you, you built a castle and you set up defenses. Um, to stop these ghoulish creatures from coming and stealing all your money. But I think these are more like just Viking, Viking enemies. Ooh, I'm liking this already. Great thing about Raw Fury is they make games with incredibly simplistic uh, gameplay mechanics, but they get super challenging and fun. Like in Kingdom, the only thing that you could do in Kingdom was put money into different places, like tell your men to build defenses here, tell your men to um, uh, like build a catapult and defend with that, or tell them to cut down trees to make the money and so on and so forth. Um, and this one's pretty simple too, you just move your squads around and defend the island. Of course, there's probably more mis mechanics as we go along. Ooh, what's this? Am I, like, powering up these guys? Ah, oh, nice. So I'm putting money into the different squads. Okay, Idelsa I fought more, so I'll give them more. Sweet, so there's some kind of power-up or level-up system. Now, I know this game is roguelite, which means if you lose, I think you lose all your armies. So these two armies that I am powering up will probably all go away if they all die. But as you can see, there's progression through islands. And if it's like Kingdom New Lands, even if your kingdom ends and everybody dies, um, you still have progression through the islands. I'm, I'm guessing that's how it works in this game. So let's go to the next item, island. All commanders fatigued. Your commanders need rest before they can be deployed again. Advance to the next turn to continue. Okay. Okay, that was interesting. Alright, so we got a new island to defend. Oh, so I deploy them. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay, let's do the same as last time. Pink guys defend the high ground. Green guys will defend the low ground. Oop. And here they come. 
Yeah, I am loving this game already. I'm a big fan of indie games with very simplistic mechanics, but they still get really complicated over time and challenging. Kingdom was an incredibly challenging game. I didn't think I would ever get good at it, but I did eventually beat all of the lands, with the exception of the final land. I found out that the final land, Skull Island, is beatable, um, but the only way you can beat it is to destroy all the portals. Once you destroy all the portals, you win. Only problem is there's a, t there's a time limit on it um, where if Hmm. I think I'll use my pink guys this time. There's a time limit, so that if you don't win within 50 days, you die. But there's like this statue that if you put money into it, it will extend the time limit. Um, so yeah, Skull Island is... Uh-oh. No! Get that guy. Because they don't know to chase after enemies. Kill him! Oh my gosh. Sheesh. Got a building on fire here. Okay, we've got two groups coming, so we better get everybody down there. I like how the, it is real time, but the game time slows down Oh, when you're making choices. So it's kind of turn-based, but also real-time strategy. I think pink will be okay. There we go. I like how they have a buddy flag. That's cute. Nice. So I get more money depending on how many houses survive. I like that. I guess putting money into these guys just makes them stronger. Ooh, upgrades available. How do I choose upgrade? I don't know. Okay, so I need to wait till next turn. Let's go to Nolsoy, I guess. This will just be a one-off. Um, I I've decided for the smaller indie games, I will only do one video on them. Now I'm not trying to do series on smaller indie games um but no man's sky obviously is the main game i play on my channel right now uh but i just pre-ordered boundless boundless is another game similar to no man's sky in minecraft it's a very large scale mmo that i am going to be playing on my channel that i'll probably do a lot more episodes or live streams of <laughs> once it comes out. And it's only like five more days. Uh, I get, uh, since I pre-ordered it, I'll get it sooner um, than other people. It comes out like September 11th, but pre-order you get it September 7th. So I'll be doing a video on it earlier, unless there's something in the fine print that says I'm not allowed to make videos on it until the official launch. Oh no. Ah! Uh-oh, this is bad. Um, okay, you go after those guys. Green, go after these guys. This is definitely getting more complicated as we go along. Yeesh. Final wave incoming, okay. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, you go there. And green... Get up there. Stop that guy. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, look for my boundless content soon. Although, since No Man's Sky is having weekly events... I may just do one video on Boundless when it first comes out, and I won't... Uh oh, oh no. Oh phew. Green almost got defeated. Yeesh. 
I wonder if they automatically get men back after a battle or what? Don't know how that works. How do I choose these upgrades? It says upgrades available. But I oop, don't know how to buy the upgrades. I could put money into them, but there doesn't appear to be a way to choose. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a way to choose the upgrades. Oh, well. Okay. Is there any way to give them upgrades now? Ah, here we go. Ah, I guess this is where I select upgrades. Archers, a ranged unit that deals death from afar but struggles with close encounters. Infantry, a versatile melee unit carrying shields to block bows and projectiles. Pikes, a defensive melee unit carrying long pikes. Great at holding one position but cannot fight while moving. Um, I'm going to do archer on this guy. Ooh, cool, there's further upgrades after that. And then I'm gonna do... Uh... Aye, aye. How do I switch? There we go. Oop. Then I'm gonna do swords and shields with this guy. Cool. Then we need more money to buy more upgrades. Sweet. I like that. Okay, next turn. I don't know what that means, why it's turning gray, but whatever. Probably doesn't mean enemies are, are taking control of it. Oh good, so we got all our men back. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. I was, I am a little disappointed though because I thought there was going to be like buildings, like they could build defense towers and stuff. So far it just seems like I'm defending with armies of men. But maybe building towers, defense towers will get added later. But at least we can upgrade with, whoa, whoa, whoa. We can upgrade with archers and all that stuff. go. I like the little sound effects. Yay, these guys have archers. It'd be nice if we could kill someone. Yay, we did. We killed someone before they got here. Nice. I like those upgrades. Uh-oh. Um, two ships. I'm gonna send both groups over there. Don't want them to get devastated. This is gonna get really hectic later, I can tell. Oh sweet, so these guys have shields, so they can attack them first, and the guys with archers will shoot them all down. Nice! Check out those tactics. We killed almost all of them before they got here. Sweet. Yeah, this game is going to get really good with the tactics if you control your groups that have um, archers and such. And then, ooh, ooh, oh, oh. And, uh, also defend with the groups that have shields and whatnot. No! Sneaky little hobbitses. Yay, victory! Victory! This game is fun. I've said that several times, but I mean, I knew it was going to be fun. It's Raw Fury. Raw Fury is one of my favorite indie groups. Of course, so is Hello Games, but <laughs> Raw Fury is pretty awesome. They're like a Netherlands or something, somewhere in that area of the world. Indie developer, pretty small group. Um, oh, let's see. 
Uh, I think, I think the other upgrades were um, like twelve and seven. Looks like I, I can afford this one. What is it? Bombard a location with a hail of arrows. Oh, so it's permanent. Once you upgrade to archers, that unit is always archers. What is this? Ooh, Warhorn calls instant reinforcements from a house. <gasps> Ooh, that's really good. I should probably do that. Does it cost anything? It doesn't say that it costs anything. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can upgrade it though. It didn't cost anything, but you can upgrade it. Well, I should definitely, oh darn. Only one group can get the war horn, apparently. Oh well. Uh, bombard a location with a hail of arrows. Do I? I wonder if I choose the location or if they just automatically do the bombard. Then archers, veteran, skilled archers with increased accuracy, rate of fire and damage. I think I might save up for that. And then this guy has plunge, perform a jumping attack from a cliff onto enemies below. Nice. I wonder if that's just situational or if you choose it. I don't know. Or I can get veteran infantry. Tougher, stronger, all around effective. I think I'll just save up for the 12 upgrade. Though you can probably get both by the looks of it. Anyway. Next turn. I wonder when I get additional units. Additional you know, groups of units. Don't know. Um, Rat Isle, uh, deploy. Whoa, I, I just, okay, so that answers that question. Apparently you just get more units automatically when you go to certain places. And I'm gonna put pink down here. And then green will stay up there, because they have the... Well, maybe I'll put green over here. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Okay, I'm going to be tactical. I'm going to put the pink in front. They're my shield guys, I think. And then green is the archers. Yeah. And I got the new blue guys. Nice. Gotcha. It's pretty cool that you could... Whoa. See you guys coming. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying the tactics in this game. It's very simplistic. You just got this tiny little island to, to defend. But I can tell it's going to get really tactical later. Shoot her! Shoot her! Uh oh. Um, um, um. Pink in front. Green in the back. Oops. Oops. That was wrong. Didn't have green selected. Oh, these guys have shields. New enemy unit. There was another real-time strategy I played a while back. I think it was called um, Tooth and Tail. I thought Tooth and Tail was going to be real good, but I didn't end up liking it. It had a lot of, like, claiming bases and building stuff, but just wasn't that enjoyable. This game, I think, is going to be a lot more enjoyable. But I'm still just going to do one video on it, and then I'll play it in my own time. I like to do these indie showcases to um, support the indie developers. Um, but, yeah. I just do one video to get the word out about the game so that hopefully other people will get it. Um, this is on PS4, of course. I only play on PS4. And it cost about... Um, 
uh, fifteen dollars on PlayStation Store. Uh oh, I better get other groups over there. Get green over there and pink just in case. Can try out the blue a little bit. They haven't had much. Nice. Woohoo! Let's see, does blue come with any money? Or do, are they... No, they don't have any money. So I'm gonna give all the money to them. Looks like I could take money out of these guys. No, I can't. Once once you spend the money and continue, you can't take the money back out. But yeah, so Meryl has five now. Cool. And Idelsa has an upgrade. Oh yeah, the, the Reign of Arrows things. I'm saving up to 12. Alright, next turn. And go. It looks like you can go back to islands you've been to until they turn gray. I guess how that's I guess that's how that works. Okay, let's see. Let's put green on the high ground. You oh 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 wrong wrong wrong. You stay over here. You take the high ground and I'll take the low ground. Of course, like I said, this game was made somewhere near the Netherlands, so it's kind of styled like that too. Viking, Vikings and all that. Um, we'll get green over there to support. how you can see them coming in the distance. Oh, oh and uh, another thing is Kingdom is going to have a sequel soon, or at some point. I don't know if it's on PC already or not. It's definitely not on PS4 yet. But Kingdom is going to get a multiplayer sequel. Kind of like how Don't Starve got a Don't Starve Together sequel. Uh, Kingdom is going to have a multiplayer sequel. I think it's going to be just two-player co-op. But I am definitely on board for that. Because I absolutely love Kingdom. And playing it multiplayer sounds pretty fun. Because... One thing that was hard with Kingdom was there was always two sides of your castle, and sometimes um, you'd be attacked from both sides. And since you were just one person, you couldn't help couldn't help your fighters on both sides. So having two players, one on each side, would be really cool. Since it's a side-scrolling game. I can imagine this game becoming multiplayer as well, since there's different... Ooh. Let's get everybody over there. Because pink is starting to lose guys, I think. But yeah, this game would be really cool multiplayer if you had like three or four players controlling each group. And it was co-op. Or you could also have versus too, I suppose. Okay, let's get this guy caught up. There we go. Okay, let's see if this guy... This is my... Whoop. This is my third group, so let's have them be pikes. Why not? We don't have a pikes group yet. So you can get pike charge, charge your pikes along a straight line, or veteran pikes, extended experienced pikes that can hold their ground for longer. Nice. So we'll save up for that as well. All right, off to heap. Oh, gotta wait for next turn.
I wonder if there's ever kind of like a boss area or something, like a... Like a special challenge that's tougher than the others. Mm. Guess we'll find out. Ooh, that's a pretty big group. get attacked from like four sides. I bet we will. Uh oh. Can blue get over there? Yes. Nice. Oh yep, I had a fig I had a feeling they're gonna come from that way next. the max number of groups you can have is. The islands are getting bigger too. I wonder how big the islands get. Man, pink is getting really a lot of casualties. Pretty sure if every man in a group dies, then it's gone for good. Don't want that to happen. There we go. Uh oh, final wave. I'm gonna not bring pink in so they don't all die. Looks like we can handle it. Oh no, there's another wave. Uh, 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 this is bad. Um, blue could probably handle that, and we'll send pink and green over there. No! Oh, phew. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeesh. What happens if all the houses get destroyed, I wonder? Come on, get up there. No, house got destroyed. That's my first house loss. I wonder if it's totally game over if you lose all the houses. I would think probably not. Phew. Good, we didn't lose any of our armies. We just lost one house. Probably, yeah, you just get less money if you lose a house. Um... Hmm? I'm gonna get Meryl up a bit. There we go. Oh, yeah, nice. There is some kind of red thing over there. That's probably some kind of boss fight. So I'm gonna head towards that. That'll be like the final thing we do in this video. Find out what that boss thingy is. Let's see. I think down there is the only way that they can arrive, right? So as long as we protect the low ground they won't be able to get to the houses. Yeah. So we can all, like, congregate over here, I think. Nice. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. Oop. 
Here they come. Wonder if we can get way up here and shoot. Nice! They can shoot from way up there. Blue's taking some casualties. Uh oh. Mm. Whoa, that's a lot of guys. Hope we can beat this. I really need to power up blue more. Get pink in there. Oh no. I don't want blue to die. Oh my gosh. Okay, Blue's gonna have to fall back. They've got, like, no guys left. Oh, goodness. We might lose this one. No! Um, um, um. Hopefully we can shoot. Yeah, we can shoot from way up here. Oh, no, they're gonna destroy that house. We're gonna have to give up that house. So we're not gonna make it otherwise. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I knew this was going to get really hard eventually. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this guy up here. We'll put pink up here. And I can shoot at them without getting hit. Oh my goodness. Wave. Oh my goodness. Wow. That one was really close. Hmm? Alright, I definitely think we should get our 12 upgrades before we try to do the boss thingy. So, we're going to do some more before we head up there, because I'm sure we can't handle it. <clears throat> but once everyone gets their 12 upgrades, we'll probably be ready. Okay, let's get blue over here, green over there. That's a tiny group. It's like one guy. You see some kind of elite unit? Yeah, it's just one archer. Come on, kill him. Uh-oh. Come on. Okay, green. Let's get those guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 no, that is not what I meant to do. Oh, goodness. Definitely getting hectic. No, they're going the long way. Ay, ay, ay. taking mass casualties again. 
Oh man, they can't go that way without taking the long route. Aw, oh, dang it. It's getting really hard. Um... Everybody up there, and then we will... Send pink this way. Green. Attack from up here. Man, blue is so weak, they die really easily. I think blue does more damage with their pikes, but they also take a lot more damage. And pink does a bit less damage, they have more defense with their shields. I mean, I might lose I might lose pink. Oh, pink is dead. Oh my gosh, pink is doomed. No, we're gonna die. No, we've lost. Oh darn it. Oh, defeat. So I wonder what happens. I wonder if I lose all my progress. Or what? Let's find out. Game over. All your commanders died. So, the, does the whole map restart? Let's find out. Wow, and that was normal difficulty. Skip tutorial, yes. Oh man, is this procedurally generated? It's generating new campaign. It may create totally different islands. Okay, I want, I want to find out if I lost all progress or what. Probably did. Now, this game gets pretty unforgiving after a while. It's definitely a good game for people that like extreme challenges, just like Kingdom was. I'm usually not the kind of person that likes really difficult challenges, but I did like Kingdom and I did beat it, so, well, except for the final island, like I said. Final land. Yeah, this game's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> I like it when a game uh, really makes you work hard to do well. So it looks like we're not going to be doing that boss battle or whatever it, what, whatever it was in this video. I wonder if I should have gone back to previous islands to get more money before going to harder islands. That's probably a good tactic. Yep, it totally starts over, and it looks like it's procedurally generated, maybe? Or are these the same islands? I'm not sure, but oh well. I'm gonna end this video here. I'm definitely excited to play this game more on my own time. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. And I hope you all, yeah, it's definitely different because now there's a boss battle there. Oh wait! Oh, I think those flags are where you go to get new new fighting units. So that's not a boss fight. So that red flag was when I could have gotten the red um, army group. Cool. So anyway, this has been Bad North. I hope you will consider buying it. It's just like $15 and it's a really cool indie game. Nice real-time strategy and roguelike or roguelite whatever, however it's pronounced, um, and definitely a good game if you like an extreme challenge. So, I have been Mac, thank you for joining me for a day, and remember, everything is going to be okay. <laughs>